is uh, time for the Better You TV. <laughs> I tell you what, I am. I just so excited about today to uh, to be able to do a recap of 2019 with you, and I want to encourage you to do the same thing. Now, I'm Angela Odom, and every Tuesday at noon, I come to you with a leadership theme topic. And we focus uh, together on making ourselves better. The truth is uh, most women undervalue themselves. For so many reasons, most women undervalue themselves. So I created a uh, SOAR success system to help women uh, get promoted, progress in their careers, and to thrive in their social environments. And I'm excited because we just uh, finished this past weekend finish um, the Learn How to Lead One Day uh, workshop. And it was at the beautiful Ellis Hotel in downtown Atlanta. And um, I tell you what, it's a great way to end the year because we have a plan going forward into the new decade, into the new year. Today we want to, I want to encourage you to go back and just recap your year, your month, your week. Get some space, get some time for you to just breathe, right? And think. Leaders have space to think, right? So it might be early, early, early in the morning, late, late at night. It might be during your lunch break, you actually get out of the building and you go to a different space. You disconnect from that uh, place that you were busy, 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 doing all manner of things. And then you give yourself some space to think, right? But I want you to do this for you. I want you to do it for you. I want you to do this for you. This is so important to go back and recap. Then you can celebrate the wins. You can make assessments on, hmm, that's not in alignment with what I really want. Oh, by the way, it's time for me to break contact from this person. They're draining my energy. My God. <laughs> You know, or they're mean to me. I don't need that in my life. And so you want to give yourself space to think, oh, oh my God, this person right here, whenever I'm around them in their presence, oh my God, I feel like I can float on air. So you want to get more of that kind of contact, right? You want to get more of that. And then, oh, by the way, I want you to evaluate your circles, your relationships. So if you're the smartest person in your circle, like you, you, you've, uh, you've heard that. If you're the smartest person in your circle, if you're the one that knows everything, they come to you all the time, then you're the one that's being drained and depleted. You're not growing. You're not, you're not, you know, you're, they're not adding value to you, right, as far as the growth and development, because that's what we're doing. So you want to slowly but surely Slowly but surely, right? Widen, 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 widen your circle. So for me, I started this year off with um, the prayer of Jabez. I pulled out my calendar. I went through starting in January of 2019. And I just went through and I captured activities and events. And I looked at the people that I uh, shared my space with and that I shared their space with, right? And I looked uh, first to see uh, if I was in alignment with that, which I said was important to me. And that was and is my relationship with my God, my um, relationship with my favorite teenager, and my relationship with myself. Um, and then, of course, uh, after all of that, right, um, the Better You Project. So January actually changed the name from AMO Consulting Solutions LLC, I, you know, legally I changed it uh, with the Secretary of State to the Better You Project because that's what I had been doing, Better You programs. And so I just changed it so it was a, an alignment. Everything was like, everything felt really good from that. So you want to get into alignment um, with that which you say is important. So we are um, we're doing a 2019 recap. And so what I did, I took out my calendar. And so I have the uh, electronic version, and I have several um, paper versions. You know, uh, I got some whiteboards, all types of things. So if you're not 
If you have not uh, been keeping a calendar, then this is a good time to start for the next decade, for the next year, for the next week. I want you to uh, be able to uh, organize your week and your day. I want you to look at your calendar and I want you to put things on there that are important to you. Block out time so that you can do the things that are important to you. Now, they are most likely important to other people also, but you want to block out time. And then once you block out time for that event, then you want to block out time for transportation, block out time to get there ahead of time, block out time to, uh, to you know, mentally get yourself prepared to uh, show up in your best light, right? So you want to use your calendar. Now, whether that is a paper, pen and paper kind of thing, uh, some um, something you get from Office Depot or you print it off of your um, laptop or whatever, however you do it, or if it is online, you get that, uh, the, G, uh, the Gmail version. I love it, Outlook. Um, I don't really like that one I don't, for me, uh, but I like they have a shared calendar that goes over several devices, right? So you can um, do something, but that's the first thing is, I'm going to do a recap. So what I did was I went back to my calendar, and I'm Angela Odom, and I am um, your guide. I am your guide here in the Better You community. I am here to help you become the hero in your own story. I'm sick and tired of you being a bit player in everybody else's life, and they're, they're major um, uh, hit movies, right? It's your time. It's your time to shine, to, to lead. And of course, we lead ourselves first and foremost. We lead uh, others and we lead processes. All right, we manage processes. So and with that said, let's just go through, like I was just looking at, okay, what in the world um, did I do this year? And one of the things I realized was somebody broke in my car this year. And I was thinking about how my behavior changed because of that. My behavior changed um, where I, um, you know, stopped carrying purses, right? Carry like a little change purse with me. Uh, every, one of, every once in a while I may break out a uh, purse, but I was, uh, yeah, so that changed, right? And I started carrying some other things with me also. <laughs> but I... Um, I noticed that my behavior did change. So just look back and see um, of, the, of the way you are acting every day. Is it serving you, right? So anyway, so starting the year or at mid-year anyway, um, uh, me and a few of my sorority sisters attended the AUSA um, event, uh, one of their uh, meetings, and we met the uh, Greenleaf actor here. Uh, so that was pretty good, and um, I realized that in 20, 2019 really was one of the best years of my life. It was one of the best years of my life. Now, it, every day was not glorious and fun. Every day wasn't even good, right? But I learned something every day, and I laughed out loud most days. So at the end of uh, 2018, that's what I decided to do, was to listen more than I talk, right? I have been doing it off and on, of course, all my life, but I decided to be very intentional in 2019 to listen more than I talk because what I was doing was not serving me. Was what I was doing was not working for me. Uh, so I decided to listen more than I talk, and while I and I was intentionally learning something every single day. Right. Um, I also established boundaries, um, and I just insisted that wherever I was, I was celebrated. I decided that I'm not going to merely be tolerated. Uh, I intend to be celebrated. And that's nothing that happens like overnight. It is um, accountability standards. It is expectations. It is boundaries. And first of all, it's just the way I feel about myself, right? I'm not going to be subjected to foolishness, <laughs> at least not more than once with the same person, right? Or well, maybe not more than twice. <laughs> anyway, so uh, for the Better You Project, um, I feel like uh, my company, my business can only go higher from here. So I'm very grateful for that. I look back at the calendar, as I mentioned, and I visited sep uh, eight separate states. I visited two of those states multiple times. 
So Mississippi, which is my childhood state, I was there five times. I didn't even realize it. So in May, June, August, I was there twice. And again, in November. In Florida, I was there three times. January, April, and then in September. And then I was in Alabama. We went to an Auburn uh, game. Auburn and uh, Mississippi, Mississippi State game. My nephew plays for plays on a Mississippi State football team, so we went down there and watched him play. Uh, we were in uh, Louisiana. I uh, went to a um, convention. We had to get up out of there because the storm was coming, right? We had a great time uh, while we was there in New Orleans, North Carolina and South Carolina and in Texas um, and also in Virginia. Went up and uh, said some words at a promotion, military promotion ceremony. And I think, let's see, in Florida, one of those visits to Florida was a um, military promotion ceremony. Um, so that's, I was just like, oh my God, that's why I was tired, right? <laughs> was like, okay. So in 2020, I'm going to do this thing a little differently. Uh, although I love to travel, I want to make sure that I'm traveling and it is in alignment with uh, that which is important to me right? My goals for uh, my God, right? My favorite teenager, myself, and the Better You Project first. So I'm going to put those things on the calendar first, which means, you know, in the Better You Project, we one of the things we focus on is building our personal leadership skills, and then we serve others from the overflow. And looking back at 2019, I was serving people when I was depleted and tired and um, sometimes I didn't show up my best self, right? So I want to change that in 2020. So the Better You Project, that is the name of my um, business and it is a community of women leaders. The purpose is to, um, to ensure that uh, women that I train, coach, mentor, guide women, I guide women to build their personal leadership skills so that they um, progress in their careers, you know, get promoted, that they walk in there um, with their crown on, you know what I'm saying, with confidence, and also that they thrive in their social environments. And sometimes it's just a matter of helping them determine what they want, what they need, what they desire. We have coaching programs that go through that. So again, I, I changed the name of the company from AMO Consulting Solutions, LLC, to the Better You Project, which is uh, aligned to what I really do, right? Better you. And because before this, previous, I retired in 2015 uh, after serving in the Army for 27 years. And um, so that uh, 20, uh, what, 16, 17, and 18 I was doing all kind of things, right? I was just so happy to be able to manage my own time. I was all over the place. And so 2019 allowed me to gain clarity and to get some focus. Really, it started with my calendar, right? It started with me establishing boundaries. It started with me being able to uh, respond to people with a full body yes or either a complete no. And so that's one of the principles of the Better You Project, the community, is that we feel, you know, from the top of our head, all the way down to the soles of our feet, the yes, which means that we really mean it, right? <laughs> As opposed to, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So a full body yes uh, or a complete no. Um, and that's when that's responding when someone is requesting our time, energy, and our um, resources, also our efforts, right? So also started the Better You TV, which is every Tuesday at noon. We started in January. Yeah, I think it was January of 2019. Uh, coming here, and initially the name was uh, Talk Time with Angela. Uh, I don't know, I probably changed the name like two or three times. Again, gain clarity. And for you, that's what I want. I want you to step out. Do it. Do this thing that's in the back of your head that you're wondering, that you're questioning yourself, that you're doubting yourself that other people might be pouring foolishness into you, saying what you cannot do, or this is not the right time. It is the right time, right? So it won't look perfect when you do it. So step out. So that's what I did. I stepped out and I decided to commit. Commit to uh, every Tuesday at noon to come and talk about a leadership theme uh, topic, right? And so uh, I would tell you, 
I think this is episode 48. All right, so there's 52 weeks in a month. So this is episode 40, episode 48. I think I missed one, um, two two episodes the entire year. I missed two Tuesdays. I missed two Tuesdays, and uh, some of those Tuesdays you couldn't hear me. Some of those Tuesdays uh, had uh, uh, what is it, audio or Wi-Fi issues. And I learned a lot. And so that's the, that is what is called a process, right? It's a process. And we're not seeking perfection. We are seeking progress. So the Better You TV, I, I'm just so excited about 2020 and being able to um, share more topics with you, get, uh, get engagement uh, with you on what you want to hear and talk about. And so we do interviews, right, case studies. And also um, uh, we have, of course, uh, just topics that we will focus on. But I like the interviews and I like the case studies, right, also. Um, so for my uh, first book, Marco Strong, uh, mem uh, Memoir of the Last Deployed Personnel Services Battalion, I um, was able to finally publish the audio uh, format for this book. So I published the initial book in uh, no, and what is it? Uh, yeah, Veterans Day of uh, 2016, and kept trying to get that audio uh, format published. And finally, uh, was able to do that. So I'm grateful for that. So that's called progress, right? Progress, progress, progress. And of course, you can get it on Amazon um, in the ebook format, the paper uh, back, and also the audio book uh, format. So I'm very proud of myself for that. Of course, I didn't do it by myself, uh, but I am proud to have it completed, right? Again, uh, as I think I've said this a few times, nothing significant is done alone. I hear people say, I, 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 and I'm thinking, wow. <laughs> it's got to be a crazy space to operate from with everything is I. That's crazy to me. Uh, but then again, that's just Angie Oldham's uh, perspective, right? I think we do most things, uh, significant things with others. So um, also the uh, um, leadership anthology, Camouflage Sisters Leadership Through the Eyes of Senior Military Women, uh, was published in um, September of uh, this year. And, you know, that's a learning process, working with a group of uh, senior military women. Also, I learned a lot through the process of watching uh, Lila Holly, who is the uh, president and CEO of the Camouflage Sisters brand, of how she um, managed to share information. Oh my gosh, she shares so much good information, valuable information, and how she is building the community of Camouflage Sisters. So uh, I enjoyed uh, working with these uh, ladies and I enjoyed the uh, process itself. And I learned a lot, all right? I was a keynote speaker at the uh, AARP Georgia Salute to Veterans Luncheon, which is so cool. So I'm now on the uh, Veterans Advisory Board for AARP Georgia, and um, you know, get the opportunity to uh, continue to be with veterans. I just love that anyway. And then, of course, we're getting, um, we were able to, I was going to say march in the parade, the Veterans Parade. No, they put us on a trolley. <laughs> which is so cool because it was cold. It was real cold, but that was really cool to do. Also, you know, um, the whole point is to share information. Um, so prayerfully, I'll be able to do some workshops, lead some workshops on um, for veterans, um, livable conditions, fraud, and uh, whatever else they ask me to do. I'm willing to do it. It's a great community service, right? And um, I did a few interviews of uh, podcast interviews and then radio interviews. And again, we're recapping, right? Recapping. Um, and I enjoyed being able to tell the Bronco Strong story and the uh, Camouflage Sisters, the leadership anthology um, question, I mean, story. But what I found is that the, the questions are mostly coming about um, women um, navigating within male dominated uh, environments and what success looks like, and um, you know, how do you uh, carry yourself in certain situations? 
And so I'd love to answer all those questions. So, uh, and I just tell my experience, I don't have any, anything else to go on but my experience, which is practical and, and based on 27 years of uh, service in the greatest army on the planet, right? Um, they just book signing um, in November, which was amazing. Uh, it was really amazing and thankful, grateful for my sister for hosting that thing, right? Um, and um, one of the trips to Florida, as I mentioned, was a uh, hosted uh, a promotion ceremony for one of my uh, mentees, one of my Bronco Strong uh, sisters. We were in Iraq together and uh, just so proud of, uh, proud of the woman she's becoming, proud of the officer she's becoming. And um, so she's a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous person. And she is continuing to serve, continue in to serve uh, others uh, with excellence. And within my um, um, sorority, my uh, committee that I am a, a co-host of Political Awareness and Involvement Committee, um, we were named uh, the 2017-2019 Committee of the Year. And, um, and then at the regional level, we earned the highest of five award. And then for me, I was named the Committee Member of the Year. Uh, so that's quite a lot, right? Um, that's quite a lot. And so uh, then I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. What an amazing year. Started out uh, on a three-day cruise, a girl's getaway cruise with Oprah. <laughs> yes, yes. It was, uh, it was mind-blowing. It was so much uh, unity and uh, respect and positive energy. It was just amazing. I, um, you know, as far as programming, Oprah beats everybody. I'm telling you that right now. So everything was, everything was, uh, was um, very positive, right? She was poured into us. All Oprah friends were poured into us. Uh, and of course, the uh, Holland uh, American ship we were on at, later on, uh, Oprah was christened as the godmother of that ship. <laughs> yes. So it was awesome. And then in May, um, I was able to attend Michelle Obama's book tour in Atlanta. And I just, um, I was so, 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 so uh, grateful for her message and for uh, her book. I read it uh, three different times. There's some, um, I did some book um, discussions on my own, right, on Zoom. <laughs> I read that book. I loved it because I could relate so much to her story, right, and that time frame that she grew up, some of her um, challenges. Uh, so I loved it. Love, love, love. And I love Michelle Obama. Um, and then I was able to uh, watch my sister, my oldest sister, Shirley, get inducted into our high school Hall of Fame uh, sports for sports. That was so cool being there for her, right? And we um, we just, uh, this past uh, Saturday, just wrapped up my, it's my second event that I've hosted, you know, since I've been retired and retired from the Army. And then uh, my first Learn How to Lead One Day Workshop. Oh, we ended that thing with a champagne toast, started that thing off with expectations, do your selfies, put your phone away, let's be present, let's invest in our uh, mindset our skill set and our network. And that's what we did. Oh, the, the women were already, you know, leaders, um, powerful women. And so it was just so good to be in a space where we could think and develop our plan going into 2020. So that was so cool. Loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. Also created um, a six week emerging leader group pro coaching program. We're going to start uh, in uh, March. And I'll tell you more about that on a separate uh, call, right? Um, it's going to be good. <laughs> so I also started a meetup, a monthly meetup. And we were able to do the first one in uh, November, uh, right before my birthday. So it was really good, really good to start as we go into, um, and of course, the second meetup was the uh, um, Learn How to Lead One Day Workshop. So one a month in person. Uh, event, right? So we meet up. And um, then I presented at the royalty brunch. It was uh, celebrating 
um, domestic violence um, survivors. You don't see the word survivors, Deborah would. <laughs> so I was able to share my signature sword um, success system uh, with these ladies, and um, I was very, I felt very, uh, I felt very good about sharing uh, my message with them. And uh, I learned a lot from them on other things. We also did a leadership interview series with uh, co-authors in the uh, leadership anthology. And that was pretty cool. Wow. I'm just thinking about, you know, just going back again. We're recapping over the year, right? We're recapping. So I did a family trip over Labor Day. <laughs> it was one of those trips to Florida. We had a family trip and it was just what the doctor ordered. It was amazing. Yep, it was amazing. We all came together. There's my siblings and their kids, and um, some of them, their kids, 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 right? So it was really good having the whole family there. This was one of um, one of my co-authors in the leadership anthology. Went down to support her book um, book signing, and that was really good to be there. Also celebrated my 35th high school class reunion. <laughs> I mean, this year just it just kept going. It was amazing, right? And I uh, flew up to uh, Virginia and was uh, asked to say, say some words for Major uh, Mike Mike Herman's uh, um, promotion ceremony, and loved it, loved it, loved it. I was also presented with an award from A A U S A. And there's some other things on here I'll go back and find before I publish this blog, going up back up to the top, right? Before I publish this, um, this actual, well, I guess I published it. Before I update it and <laughs> send it out, I will um, make sure that I add a few more things. But I wanted you to go back through your calendar. Take the time to do it and acknowledge your accomplishments, right? acknowledge um, what is in alignment with that which you want right and so sometimes it's like a, um, a worm um, an inchworm going across an eight lane highway it's not may not feel like you're moving very fast or at the pace you want but make progress keep moving forward motion that's what we want forward motion so again i'm angela odom and i am um, the founder of the Better You Project, and here at the um, in the Better You TV, I want to encourage you to do a recap of your year. And so, once you do the recap, then the next phase is to start to plan a strategy for 2020. Right? Start to plan a strategy for 2020. Doesn't have to be anything um, elaborate. You just give out. You can uh, do something simple, low tech. Get out 12 sheets of paper, write the uh, months of the year on each sheet of paper, right? And put down your big rocks, big things that you're doing in 2020. Put down the big things you want to see uh, manifest for your family, for your workspace, for your social environments. The things that you are committed to doing, you put those down. And then you think through, and whomever you have to have a conversation with, you do that, right? And then you transcribe that into your calendar. And you start from there. You start from there. Whatever is important to you, just make sure you have it. Um, you have your own set of uh, standards for performing them before you take on commitments from other people. Right? Start with you first. Okay. So that is the 2019 cap, uh, re uh, recap for the Better You Project. And I want you to do the same thing. So we're focused on progressing in our careers and thriving in our social environments. And so you want to set some goals and look at your, look at a strategy, what you need to organize, and how are you going to keep yourself accountable, and then your relationships, right? That's the SOAR system. All right. Well, with that said, I'm Angela Odom, and as always, I'm rooting for you. And I feel pretty good. I mean, I'll tell you what, this 2019 has been amazing. And one of the things that, uh, of all those things that, um, that I share with you, uh, the thing that I'm most proud of is the fact that my favorite teenager and I are having conversations. We laugh together. 
Now, I'm not going to tell you we have a whole bunch of conversations every day, but we have more than we did in 2018. 2018 was the worst year, right? <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it was horrible for me and my son, both of us, right? Um, so the good news is that 2019 um, in December, we sit here in December and we are in a better space as far as our family, as far as our mission as a family. So my mission as uh, for the Better You Project is to help 1 million women progress through the SOAR, uh, the Better You programs by 2025. So how do I do that? First of all, I need to get organized, have strategies. I need partnerships and um, with others. I need corporate uh, partnerships, right? And so that's what I'm going to focus on over the next uh, year or so. So I will see you. I will see you next Tuesday, if not before that. And I wish you the very best of uh, everything. And we will, um, I look forward to hearing about your recap. All right. All right. Take care. And as always, um, like I said, I'm rooting for you. <laughs>